What's all the hoopla about calcium? Are calcium supplements really required? We have seen so many ads on the importance of calcium in our diet. But does it really matter? Here are a few answers to those questions you all have and some tips to ensure that it is included and assimilated properly in your diet. Why do we need calcium in our diet? Calcium helps your body with building strong bones and teeth, with clotting blood, sending and receiving nerve signals, contracting and relaxing muscles, releasing hormones and other chemicals, maintaining a normal heartbeat. What are the best sources of calcium? Undoubtedly, milk and dairy products like yogurt and cheese are the best sources. In fact, a good take of calcium, particularly in childhood, teenage years and early adulthood, can help reduce your risk of developing brittle bone disease later in life. Osteoporosis currently affects 1 out of 3 women and 1 out of 12 men. If you're not much of a dairy person or are lactose intolerant, you can include some of these foods in your diet. Green leafy vegetables such as broccoli and spinach. Fish such as sardines and mackerel are also good sources of calcium. Almonds and nuts. You might be including any or all of the above in your diet, but still be suffering from calcium deficiency. This may be happening because of the way you cook them, or factors which interfere with calcium absorption in your body. ensure that all the calcium you consume is getting absorbed like it was intended to. Cook foods in a small amount of water and for the shortest possible time to retain more calcium in the foods you eat. Be careful about what you eat with calcium rich foods. Certain fibers such as wheat bran and foods with oxalic acid, spinach and rhubarb for example, can bind with calcium and prevent it from being absorbed. Are calcium supplements really required? Calcium supplements are useful when dietary intake is low, but certain factors must first be considered. Chelated calcium and refined calcium carbonate tablets may be safely and effectively used by most people at the recommended doses for the following. The prevention and treatment of diseases such as osteoporosis, hypertension, and possibly colon cancer. For more such information related to your health, log on to health.india.com.